I don't have a script for this video, but I'm going to try to make this quick. So in DaVinci Resolve, if you want to add a letterbox to your video or to your project, you can go to timeline up here and then go to output blanking and then simply choose either of these values. We go change it to 240, 239. Now, the issue with this is that this will be throughout the whole timeline. What if you only want this to be in one part of your project or one part of your video, right? So it's actually a pretty easy and solvable thing. So let me show you what we're going to do is go to effects and then add an adjustment clip. And we can probably call this an animated letterbox video because that's the purpose of this video. But you don't have to animate this if you don't want and you can still use this method to add a letterbox to your video, right? So we're going to open this adjustment layer and here we're just simply going to add a background node. Now we're going to add a mask and connect these there. Now connect these to the media end node and we're going to make the rectangle fill the whole screen by pressing one here on the width and then also on the height. Now we're going to invert these and after you have these here, what you have to do is simply adjust the height of the letterbox. Basically, that will be your letterbox. So if we go back to the edit page, we can see that after I change the rectangles height to, let's say, 0.85. We have this letter box already right here. Before we jump into the next part, make sure to like this video if you're finding these useful. Now, if you want to animate these, all you have to do is animate the rectangle, right? So we're going to set these to one and let's start frame 10 just because. And then I'm going to go to frame 34. Let's do so that's like a one second complete thing, right? And we can make these like that. If you want, you can go to the spline and make these is in basically so if we take a look at these we have that but if you like it to be linear then you can you can just leave it there or press shift l to bring these back to normal this probably will depend on the effect that you want to get right so if we go back to the air page since we have this place right here we can add more things under these and the litter box will still be affecting everything that's under it now this video is brought to you by my paper full effects so if you want to create paperful effects and add animations in seconds, make sure to check out paperfulleffects.com and then you can also download some freebies right there. Let's continue. So let me add another adjustment layer or an adjustment clip and I'm going to change the color of these just so that we can see it. And here I actually want to add a dynamic zoom effect. So if I press zoom, if you don't have the dynamic zoom effect that I created a long time ago, you can check out the Suave store. And it's there as part of one of the freebies. All right, so we have these right here. If I wanted to target, let's say, get closer to the face and I want the zoom in to really be punchy, then I can actually increase this amount of the zoom right here and then go back to, let's say, when it starts. So, like at frame 10. Then, if we have a really punchy movement like this one, maybe having a litter box that's just linear doesn't make that much sense right this is just in the case if you on you maybe like jumping into some scene that has a lot more action or something like that so what we can do is now go to the spline and make these a little bit more punchy and trying to fold that same ease out of the zoom in right so since the zoom is already completed by then you probably want your litter box to be right at the ending point by then, right? So we can actually then just drag this frame right here and then we can have these. It's not that great yet. We can try to maybe get rid of that slow down. Maybe let's do the opposite. That looks a little bit cooler, I think. I like that. I like the way that uh, that looked. I'm actually using these a couple of these clips for another video as well, but that will be coming on in the future. A little bit too fast. Sometimes in Fusion, it looks a little bit different than in the edit page, I guess. So we can always adjust these until we get to the right point. So that is it for this video. Make sure to check out the other videos on the channel and also check out the Suave.com website to find some of the best assets that I've created for DaVinci Resolve. See you in the next one.